Nope, you don't need, you don't need a, the... I'm doing legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a leg
significantly more valuable for three game slates because you're right like the chances of of the series going this way is just like so much higher yeah it, it reminds me a lot of going doing like a a four game slate in mlb versus showdown yeah yeah so the and the the other thing i think that kind of changes things between the one game slate and the three game slate is that um, when you have these kinds of like unique stacks that are four two ones or three three ones or something along those lines, incorporating a third team is um, not only to differentiate, but it does theoretically increase your upside for um, for DraftKings scoring. I think because of the limited number of kills per team. So on the three game slates. You, there's a chance that like the top laner for uh, for a team like IG is just going to dominate their lane opponent, whereas on another team that might get a lot of kills in a, in a series, their top laner isn't like an integral piece of, of like what they ended up doing on that day. So when you have a three team lineup like what you have on the right, um, you you could get like access to a third team with just one player, and like instead of their ceiling being 80 or 85 because the the carries on their team are the ones scoring most of the points, they could have a performance like the shy and have like 120 or 130 or 150 points. So I think I think that um and I know that you've been like very clear about this on Twitter like when you say like this is just Vegas odds, this doesn't mean that your lineup is going to ca- like make money this percentage of the time cuz I'm sure you get a lot of like uh responses like that. But um yeah. It's it's yeah and that oh go ahead sorry no I was basically done with that what were you gonna say oh, uh, I was gonna say yeah that's that's a, one of the big things I'm not sure about in this is how efficient the market is it's not like NFL where the, the uh, betting is you know so high yeah do you mean the DFS market or the the money line market the 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 money line market yeah. that's where these odds are coming from yeah and you know these these people are adapting. Like obviously these these money lines were there before, but they're adapting to the volume now. Yeah. And you were saying something about the vig today, right? Yeah. So I had just been taking uh, essentially the the straight up the straight up line, the straight up money line, and taking that and converting into percentages. Yeah. Um, and I was thinking about that today. That it might be a little bit better for giving a realistic percentage because really the other thing i always say about this is it's uh relative you want to look at the different stacks compared to each other because because you don't know the efficiency of the money line market sure um that makes sense so so yeah yeah so J- I... just to try and get a little more accurate i yeah. decided to try and take out the big today yeah i, th- I think that um, as somebody who has watched esports for, well, League of Legends, professional League of Legends specifically, I've been watching it since day one, that it's like existed, and mm. the money lines are completely tainted by public perception, and public perception in uh, League of Legends is so far off. Uh, that's why I felt like being a contrarian was so important for the first couple Mm. of years of esports dfs because there people were not willing to play the game theory angle which just so happened to be the the angle that was closer to reality like you would have some of these extremely popular teams with a lot of fans they were the ones who were most likely to bet on on esports so their teams were basically being treated like the dallas cowboys or the green bay packers because they're such an overwhelming public team so mm. when you see something like uh, TSM playing, you're ne- I don't think that you're ever going to get a real line because the, the number of people who like had their first exposure to League of Legends through TSM is just ridiculous. Yeah. And the people who want to bet I mean, on that that's are ridiculous. Only... That was the only team I knew. <laughs> exactly, exactly. My point, exactly. So I think, it, like, I wish that I had access yeah. to, like, a sports book's numbers just from like a volume kind of perspective, yeah. because I, I there has to be somebody out there who knows exactly what I'm talking about and has statistics to back it up. Yeah, so quick, 
quick shout out to uh, the guy who tied last night, uh, Atlanta, uh, 1978. He uh, he does that a lot in other sports. He looks at the uh, lines and how they're trending and the volume on, you know, try and find the sharp money versus the public money. Cool. And that's just not available here. Sure. Because I'm sure, like, I know, like, MLB and NFL, there are, like, the betting aggregation sites where they can kind of figure out how much money was wagered on each side. Like, I know Fantasy Labs does something yeah. like that, right? Yo, I, I rely on him for that information, to be honest. <laughs> okay, sure. So I think I think now we kind of have a good base understanding of, like, why we're incorporating the Vegas information. And I think now it makes sense to go into the like back and forth that we had on Twitter. So, so I, I... yeah, it, just one, just one quick thing. Sorry. Sure. Go for it. Uh, the, not, not only does contrarian pay off because it's contrarian, but um, you're really playing like, let's say V5, for example, tonight, terrible team. They probably have like basically no chance of winning, but yeah. they have some chance. So the idea is that you're playing that those sorts of cases every night so that when that chance happens, you're the only one playing. So it's not it's not even just like you said to be unique. It's really just uh, to, to try and get that one in one in 10 chance. Exactly. And I guess before we dive into it again, I'll just say I'll just like reiterate my other point was that like I have been playing esports DFS for years and most people. The people who I was competing with were not playing contrarian stacks. So, like, I would throw out, uh, like, I would have a, a minor hedge, and that minor hedge would give me, like, an extreme leverage over the field. Um, mm -hmm. So anytime some kind of obscure outcome would happen, I would just win. Like, like it was yeah. it was crazy. So so um, that's enough of that. So so basically what I was going to get into is the, the Twitter exchange that we had um, because I was kind of... Um, I don't think I really even said it directly to you, but basically when I look at something like this, uh, the way that DraftKings gets their salaries is by like a calculation with average points and the Vegas odds. I'm 99% sure that's accurate. I don't, I haven't talked mm -hmm. to anybody about DraftKings about that, but if you just look at the way that the salaries come out, it's almost undeniable that that's how they come up with their numbers. And what that does is it creates constraints on the game stacks that are possible um, on any yeah. given night. So when you look at two favorites, the chances of you being able to put two favorites um, on, the on the same lineup with like an AD carry as the captain or a mid laner as the captain, it's like, it's extremely unlikely. So I, ha I haven't looked at this yet today. I just have like some of the teams plugged in. So... Mm -hmm. So we're going to look at RNG versus Top Esports first. Um, the first captain team that we're going to use is Top Esports. So basically on this sheet, I have all of the rosters um, for the teams that are playing tonight. Victory 5 is a little messed up today because CLX is going to be playing support, but he's listed as a mid laner. And Mole is the mid laner. Um, but he's listed in DraftKings as top. Uh, mm -hmm. it the whole th the whole thing just makes no sense. Um, so I think one one additional way to get contrarian tonight is by uh, using the V five players out of position on DraftKings because they're they're not valued correctly on DraftKings. So like somebody like Mole specifically, he is priced as a top laner, but he is a mid laner. So if V5 manages to win tonight, or if they if they just keep it close tonight and lose, I think somebody like Mole has a uh, very high upside compared yeah, to the other. If nothing top else, a cash play. What, what was that? If nothing else, cash play. Sure. So like, if you wanted to fit in like 280 carries from a really from really good teams that are projected to win, and you need some salary savings, instead of getting a top laner from a bad team, you're getting a mid laner from a bad team. So you should have a, a slight edge there. Um, but the problem would be, like, if they lose 0-2, his floor is, like, 20 points. So that's that's another reason why I like going through my sheet is because 
if you can find combinations of teams like RNG and top esports and you think that they're both going to 2-0, then even by going down to a jungler top laner or support as your captain, you still have a, a pretty good upside um, because of those games not played bonuses. Um, so, mm -hmm. so basically all I do here is I get the drop down list, click on the team that I want to have as my captain, and then this is the roster for the captain team, and then I can switch between top jungle, mid, 80 carry support. So right now we have the J-Man as the captain, Jackie Love, coming back tonight for the first time. Uh, he's been on the shelf. He was a free agent, and uh, he just signed like a huge deal with um, with Top Esports. Have you have you been getting crushed by Top Esports recently? Oh man, I've been playing them. Yeah, the last two last two slates with them, I played a ton of both of them. Yes, me too. Very sad. That, yeah. So, uh, so in this list, uh, this first team is the captain team plus team one, which in this situation is top esports. So obviously these lineups don't make any sense. You're not going to be able to use any of those. Uh, then we get down into team two, which is RNG. So basically we have the, like the basic stacks that people use, which is 80 carry captain, top jungle mid, top jungle support jungle mid support and top mid support um i don't have any like backwards looking statistics um trying to figure out which ones are the best because i like if i like a combination of teams i'm probably going to run out multiple lineups anyways so it's never really mattered for me um do you have any yeah. kind of lineup construction that you prefer uh so yeah i i've been i mean this is mostly uneducated just uh hearsay and um i for a few days i did keep track of uh, who was winning in the in the captain spot and it was, it was a lot of uh adc and mid um so i've sort of just stuck to that because the little bit of data i looked at matched the group think so to speak yeah so so just to give some uh some context from league of legends specifically um not sure how how familiar you are with like the game itself, but um, the uh, mid laners I'm learning. Yeah, exactly. Everybody's learning right now. Um, <laughs> so the mid laner and the AD carry are basically like the quarterback and the running back for of the team. Mm -hmm. Like the the team wants to protect the quarterback so that he can move around the pocket, find people deep down the field, create holes for the running back, and just like move the line and put their team in positions to succeed. So the rest of the team, um, I would consider like the offensive line normally. And then the two most important players on the team are the mid laner and the AD carry. So in a game like League of Legends, basically what happens is it's five on five. You're running around trying to kill each other so that you can get objectives. The two people who do the most damage are normally the mid laner and the AD carry. So by protecting them and helping them succeed, you allow them to do more damage, which takes away life from the enemy, which results in kills. So DraftKings scoring is much more highly attached to kills than winning because we've seen recently a lot of situations where uh, the, the losing team, um, the winning team has less kills than the losing team, which is pretty crazy. Like you don't see that very often in other sports where like the losing team can have a better fantasy performance. Yeah, and that, that's something I'm not going to target because it is such a low percent sure so like if you were th if That's you were going to run personal. out 150 lineups maybe it makes sense to like get well the thing is when you have when you're running a lot of lineups you can project them to win and even though you projected them to win and were wrong you could still back your way into a good lineup you know what i mean sure. i think that's yeah. that's yep. mostly what happens yeah yeah and just just uh I usually run 40 to 60 myself. Sure. I know it. And that, that I can usually cover in a lot of 4-3 or 4-3-1 with uh, teams that I like and with um, ADC in mid as captain. And you use a generator all the time, right? I do. Yep. Okay. So unless, I make it, unless I don't have much time, I'm just making like one or two. Yeah. So personally, I am more of a hand builder. I don't like a lot of the optimizers out there because of the projections that they have. I think it's pretty tough to get like a 
projection system that is trustworthy. I'm working on one right, right now, but it's it's pretty tough. And it it always depends on how you think the games are going to go, um, obviously. Like, you're not going to pick a bunch of losers. So, um, okay. So the other just look- thing I'd say quick about projection sure. systems, like especially a sport like this, where they're basing it a lot on the Vegas lines and past... Um, performance scoring yeah past scoring is that they're going to be it's the same a lot um and it's, so if you can find one outside of the big ones even if it's not the best you might have just like a little bit of advantage there it's going to be similar but not exactly the same yeah you know what i mean just yeah. to have be a little bit different in that yeah um, and that that's one thing that a lot of people who have been playing League of Legends DFS for a longer amount of time, we've, uh, like, I haven't had conversations with people about this, but I've seen some exchanges on Twitter. Everyone's kind of looking for, like, the next edge of, like, how can we use our actual understanding of League of Legends to profit in DFS? And I'm surprised players haven't been doing that already, um, and I don't want them to. Well, the prizes weren't there. Well, exactly. But <laughs> I, I'm just saying, like, I don't want them to put a lot of time into thinking about why scoring happens the way that it does or, like, how to predict how, like, things are going to change because there are... Basically, it's, it's considered meta shifts. So, like, um, in football, um, like, teams, teams transitioning from having, like, big linebackers that are run stoppers and then transitioning into having, like the hybrid linebacker safety kind of player, like that would be considered a meta shift where if everyone starts using those kinds of linebackers that can play like switch between safety and linebacker and then like cover tight ends or running backs out of the backfield, that's kind of um, what happens pretty often in, in League of Legends where there are like fundamental changes about the champions that you can pick and the map mm-hmm. and stuff like that where the people who are playing it, like actually playing the game and understanding the game may have an advantage like in the first couple of contests coming out of coming going into a new season um but i guess there's not much to really talk about that yet so so basically when you look at this this line these are the four different combinations that you can do between rng and top esports all of them are too expensive by roughly 900 to 1300 so you just have to skip it like if if you want to play rng plus top esports you're not going to have an AD carry as your captain. Um, when you go to E Star, you still can't do anything, and then you get down to the underdogs, and now you can open up that kind of roster construction. So if you're the kind of player who places a higher emphasis on the type of lineup that you can build instead of the players that you can get in, um, this is a beneficial like process to go through. So tonight, top esports are playing against Victory Five. So unless you're comfortable game stacking, you're probably not going to run out any of these lineups. But if you like OMG or LNG, you can run any of these lineups and they would be like a valid uh, roster construction. I'm I'm never going to game stack myself. I don't see any upside in that. Yeah. So in the, in the one game contest, it's definitely a better strategy. Um, Like the, the cloud nine game, that one, uh, like that big NALCS slate, slate on March 29th, that was a game stack just because it's more likely to happen mm-hmm. um, in that kind of contest where it's the one games because the chance of getting two or three games like that is just so low. It does happen, but it again, like you don't necessarily want to incorporate that into your exposure on a nightly basis. Um, but there are certain scenarios where I, I kind of see that it's worthwhile. So then we're done with the four threes. Now we're down in the three fours. Three four can't do anything with top esports, obviously, because they are top esports. Can't do RNG. Can't do E star. And then again, you can do all of the the underdogs. So our goal is to get to RNG plus top esports. So I know from experience that I'm not going to be able to get that combination with an AD carry or a mid laner, just because of salaries yeah. the way that they are. So I'm gonna switch to jungle. And let's see how much closer we get with jungle. Yeah, one quick thing on this exact specific scenario, this uh, and going on your League of Legends knowledge and these teams' knowledge. Like tonight, you know, Jackie Love is he's been off. Obviously, he's been playing the game in his time practicing. Blah blah blah. 
I'm sure he's practiced with his team, but yeah. do you factor that in him on a new team? Yeah. Or so is that something that. So I think that League of Legends is. Um, basically, there is a ranked system where you can compete against other people just by queuing up by yourself or with one teammate, and then it randomizes your other yeah, teammates. Yeah. So the meta that has been established in the ranked ladder um, is easy to to kind of bring into the professional scene. It's it's not it's not a game like basketball where you have different kind of systems. So if you're like a pick and roll heavy team and you get a point guard mm-hmm. who is like um, a three point shooter and is not physical and can't play off of a pick and roll, then that would be a, a problem. But if you're somebody if you're somebody like Jackie Love, it would be more like you are um, a wide receiver who just runs go routes and <laughs> nothing is going to change for you. It's like, oh, I'm still fast. Sure. I can still catch the ball. Throw me the ball. Like Randy Moss when he went to the Patriots. That is what Jackie Love is. Jackie Love mm-hmm. should not have any issues um, playing with this team. I know that okay. somebody was messaging me before saying that there are a lot of people saying that they're, they're like afraid of playing Jackie Love tonight. I just don't see why it would be an issue. And if they end up losing, I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, Jackie Love was rusty. Oh, the bad team communication. It's it's a simple game, you know. Hmm. Yeah, and I, from what I heard, let me just check a number real quick. But I, one place that I looked, and I'm checking in a second. So the first place I looked had him as the most owned. Yep, and the, the two the two places that I looked both have him as. Oh no, let's see. Projected for the highest ownership, you mean? Uh, that one's a little bit broken. Okay. But you're saying that his his ownership yeah. is going to be the highest? Yeah. What one one source has that? So. What kind of number are they putting on it? Like thirty uh, percent? Let me refresh. Make sure that's not crazy. I'm seeing forty three percent. I could see that definitely. He's the cheapest. He's the cheapest eighty carry on a favorite, and he is the best eighty carry. Uh, he's probably the best eighty carry in China right now, in terms of talent. Yeah, and- You've got his name, you know, a story along with it. Yeah. Keep on. Yeah. So basically, I we, we switched down to uh, top esports plus RNG, and now we can see that by switching your captain from uh, Jackie Love to Carsa, you are able to combine those teams. So I would expect these teams to be extremely heavily owned. Yeah. Because this is the first instance where you can start combining these two teams together. So then we still can't pair them with E-Star. But we can now do that with RNG. And RNG is... RNG is in a better matchup, I think, than E-Star. Like, I could see OMG beating E-Star more often than LNG beating RNG. Um, But then basically it's still the same thing. Where, like... uh, you can still stack them with the underdogs. So basically my idea for having you on was like now that we see that the jungle is the first opportunity for us to stack these two teams together, like mark mm-hmm. it on the sheet. Just so that we know like the the first instance of team stacking occurs at the jungle level. Because then that would make it the most likely to be stacked. I think from an ownership percentage, I think that's going to inflate the ownership percentage of those teams and those team combinations. Mm-hmm. Sorry, that was RNG in Top Esports. Yeah, okay. So then we go I, from the the yeah, the most of the stuff that I've seen, people usually go to actually support next because it gives them even more salary to mess around with. So you're saying once they move off of AD carry and mid laners they drop all the way to supports? Yeah, just I that's I've no uh Nothing to base that on, other than chatter. Well, I think I think that I think that you're right that people do that. I definitely think it's it's accurate because people are so fascinated and like fixated on the AD carry position and the mid lane positions, and supports are not fighting for the DFS lifeblood that carries are fighting for. They're not they're not going after kills for the most part. If they get a kill, great. 
but they're really there for the support upside. And if you think a team is going to have a high number of kills, like 20 kills, let's say, their kill participation should get them uh, over the 10 assist mark pretty easily. So I, I do see why people go down to supports, but having two supports is worse than having two junglers, in my opinion, for mm-hmm. DraftKings scoring. So I don't know what I don't know what combinations have been taking down contests, but I think if we looked at all of the slates and like uh, back tested for optimal lineups, I think you would have more double jungle lineups as optimals than yeah. double supports. Yeah, the the little bit of data that I you know had on that before I gave up and just didn't waste <laughs> my time on it. Yeah, uh, was that there was only like it was just like maybe five to ten slates that I kept track. It was like one slate was jungle. Uh, one was top. That was probably like the shy. Yeah. Okay. So so let's go... So for the first one, uh, RNG plus top esports, you put in jungle, right? Yep. Okay. Sure. So let's go to top lane. Um, support might actually be better than top lane. I guess that's more of like a a theory question you have to kind of ask yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. For um, for RNG top esports, can you put jungle 4-3? Because it'll just let people know it's a 4-3 stack instead of a 3-4 stack. Because I think, I think one of the other exchanges that we had was I was asking you, um, like, how does having four players from one team and three players from another team impact, like, DraftKings scoring because I know it's not going to change the Vegas scoring, but or the Vegas odds, but I think it right. does it it does fundamentally change your team's chances of like cashing because I think that if you have a three four, you are pro- you're basically projecting that the captain is going to come from the highest scoring team on the DraftKings slate, but for some reason the other team is going to be like more highly correlated with one another so mm-hmm. that's always kind of been confusing to me like i understand why people do four threes and three four stacks to like cover all the bases but it's just like four threes just it makes so much more sense that they would be the better ones more often but we're seeing a lot of well, three four stacks win